cranial nerve number one, the olfactory nerve, that's going to be sensory for the sense of smell. Cranial nerve number two, which is the optic nerve, that's also going to be sensory. That's going to be sensory for vision. Cranial nerve number three, the oculomotor nerve, would have a visceral motor component and a somatic motor component. The visceral motor component of oculomotor nerve would be the muscles in the iris that would change the size of the pupil, as well as the muscles in the ciliary body, the ciliary muscles. The somatic motor component would be extraocular muscles on the outside of the eye to move the eyeball. Okay. Cranial nerve number four, which is under here, or cranial nerve number four is the trochlear nerve, and the trochlear nerve is going to be somatic motor to the superior oblique muscle. Okay. And that superior oblique muscle, when it contracts, is going to allow you to look down and out. Cranial nerve number five the trigeminal nerve is going to be a mixed nerve. It's going to have a sensory component and a motor component. The sensory component is going to be sensory to the face. The motor component is going to be to the muscles of mastication, the chewing muscles. So cranial nerve number five, trigeminal nerve, innervates the chewing muscles. Cranial nerve number six, the abducens nerve, that's going to innervate the lateral rectus muscle so that we can abduct our eye. In other words, look to the side with our eye. Okay. Cranial nerve number seven is facial nerve. The facial nerve, cranial nerve number seven, is going to be sensory to the anterior two-thirds of the tongue and motor to the muscles of facial expression. Cranial nerve number eight, which is the vestibulocochlear nerve, that's going to be a sensory nerve, and that's going to receive input from the vestibule in the inner ear that would help detect balance and equilibrium and also the cochlea which would receive information regarding hearing. This is cranial nerve number nine, the glossopharyngeal nerve. The glossopharyngeal nerve is going to collect sensory information from the posterior one-third of the tongue. It's also going to be motor to the muscles that help us swallow along with the vagus nerve. Cranial nerve number 10, the vagus nerve, that's going to be sensory and motor to the organs in the trunk. Vagus refers to vagabond or wanderer. This nerve is the wanderer because it innervates so many things in the trunk. Okay. Cranial nerve number 11 is the spinal accessory nerve, and cranial nerve number 11 is going to innervate two muscles, the trapezius muscle as well as the sternocleidomastoid muscle. This is cranial nerve number 12, the hypoglossal nerve. Hypoglossal nerve is going to be motor to the muscles of the tongue. And finally, I'll end with a summary slide that lists the names of the cranial nerves, their number, and then the function. Enjoy! If you found this video helpful, click like and consider subscribing to my channel. Don't forget to visit www.humanbodyhelp.com.